As many people know, Club Penguin Online is a massive multiplayer online game primarily targeted at children. With its fan base and with the shutting down of the original Club Penguin, many people flooded to Club Penguin Online to still play the game that they hold dearly to their heart. What the fuck is that you done the mark for? Playing your fucking mouth, mate, to my grown man. You sent me a message first, yeah? I live in Smevic, Birmingham. If you want the fucking brawl, come down to Smevic, ask for Danny G. I'll come out of my house and I'll break your fucking legs, you little prick. Now what do you say? But with all games that have a large fan base, you're gonna meet some rather suggestive people. And today's story, we talk about one of those people. For the people that don't already know, Club Penguin Online has over 6 million daily users playing their game. The game is fucking huge, but with some recent allegations that have now been put forward about the owner being a child predator. Very pleased to be giving you. Now a lot of you know, because it was a very high viewed video, my Club Penguin Online video. I made a video talking about some very serious allegations against the owner of Club Penguin Online. Now at the time I made my video, no one else was talking about it. There were no other bigger YouTubers mentioning this story or even picking up on it. That was until some ordinary gamer- <laughs> As Cavos said, there was a post that was made on May 14th that was titled Shutdown of Club Penguin Online. The post read, This was a very hard decision to make, but ultimately the choice was not ours to make. Most of you are aware, around a month ago, a former staff member as his clique targeted us with false allegations in a stunt to ruin our community and try and bring them to their brand new CPPPS. This situation spiraled out of control and has gotten to the eyes of law enforcement, media, and unfortunately Disney into the Club Penguin private server world. I love how they keep calling the allegations false, but they don't really show any proof of it. I highly suggest that you go watch Kavos's video though. He's ad addressing the whole situation because in the video there is so much proof that basically refuted almost everything in that post. We are not the only private server to be shutting down. Disney has sent DMCA's to other Club Penguin private servers as well. If anyone does try to revive the game, it'll be extremely difficult now as you'll have to worry about Disney and, and and in all honesty it isn't worth it. And now it's not just Club Penguin that's getting shut down. It's all the Club Penguin remakes and I'm pretty sure that there were signs that were that Disney was going to file the lawsuit. We would like to thank you all for making this journey a memorable and enjoyable one despite the rocky ending. Thank you all for 8 million people who joined this game in our two year history. Club Penguin was a great revival of the legendary game that we all are proud of and and what we have achieved. We will release an official shutdown date at the end of May. Thank you all for the memories, waddle on. And after all this, they're still denying all the claims. Allegedly, there have been police reports on the whole situation saying that the owner of Club Penguin, or Riley, has been arrested and bailed out. But what I believe that we're trying to achieve by making videos like this is to try and spread awareness and and spread and get people to notice the situation so it's not just a few people making videos on it. If you are a content creator, I highly suggest that you make a video on this covering the situation to spread more awareness to your audience. But honestly, that was just my take on this situation. Once again, I encourage you to go watch Kavos' video because he did a way better job covering the situation than I did. And see you guys in the next video. Peace.